Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Doris. Okay. Okay, it's great. Hi, Doris, how are you? Uh, very good. Very good, really nice to have you here in the class. Hello, Diego. Hi. How are I'm you? <laughs> I'm doing good. You're um, doing test down. Yes. So at the end, uh, the test that we have on Saturday, yeah, uh, the system got down. The the, really? the I don't know the internet internet provider of the court, the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. So we don't have a date yet. So. So they are going <laughs> the to. You, to reprogram right the exam yes yes so maybe one or two months really? <laughs> oh no <laughs> oh no yeah i know mm. i know but you still you still have like this extra time so you can go and review the topics that you weren't sure about you know <laughs> yes yes actually that's something good right yeah oh, right? We have more time yeah. to <laughs> okay so hopefully it's going to be you know really soon so you can have your your exam in probably next month not two months right yeah of course i, I hope that <laughs> you really hope that excellent mm -hmm. okay let me say hi to jasmine hi jasmine hi what how are you, are you? <laughs> um well, I have a time. No, it's a time. <laughs> okay, it's nice to have you here in the class. Andres is he? Yeah, Andres Giovanni. He's already in the class. Jocelyn, Freddy's. I'm here. Fernando Ernesto. Hello. Hi. Good evening. Hello, teacher. I will hello, be hello. as a listener today because I am not at home. So. Sorry, I, I will I will try to, to hear all the all the class. Okay, thank you so much for letting me know. Fernando. Okay, Genesis is in the class already. David Hi. as well. Hello, hello. Okay, class, how is it going? How was your weekend? What did you do? How was your day? Tell me. I really want to know about it. How was it? It was not enough. <laughs> not enough to I, rest. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not enough, you know. Yeah, but other than that, it was nice. It was nice, excellent. Yeah. yeah. What about yours? It it was good, let's say. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So what was that? What is the topic for today? Let's wait for your classmates. Ten classmates. Ten students already in the class. The order is coming. Let's see. Uh, as you can remember, last week, last Friday, we were introducing this topic that is like the main topic from unit number two, right? Do you remember what we were discussing about? Or not really, teacher? 
We were given a definition, some examples about this type of behavior. Or what's the topic about? Okay, no worry. <laughs> there we go, William. Ethical and in this case, yes, the main topic was ethic in management. So in this opportunity, we are going to have the benefits, benefits of ethics in management. This is a topic that we are going to have. But before we start the class, remember as a warm up, let's have this activity. I know that we have been practicing with vocabulary, with tongue twisters, Probably this is a uh, another type of activity that we're going to have in this class, right? Take a look at this activity. And it may look easy, but it is not, you know? Have you ever played this type of activities before? Say the color, not the word. You are not going to read the words that we have there. You're just going to take a look at the color that you see in each word, okay? Say the color, not the word. How many words do we have there? Nine. Nine, nine right. You know, I, <laughs> I was playing, you know, this, a same game with a different group, but I have like 20, 20 different <laughs> uh, words. So yes, I guess they, they couldn't make it because it was a little bit different, right? But in this case, as I only have like 16, 17 students, I'm just going to ask you to have nine different words, you know? So let's see how it goes. Take a look at the colors. And can you tell me what colors do we have there? We have how many different colors there? One, two, three, five. Four, five. Five. Can you mention the colors that you see? Green, yellow, red, blue, black. We have green, we have red, red. we have blue. yellow, black. Do we have purple? No, I think. Yes. <laughs> really? Do we? That blue, that blue is a little bit purple. So is that oh, purple yeah, or blue? blue. <laughs> is that but purple blue, or is that blue? I think it's blue. In my case, I think it's blue, but I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> it looks a little bit purple. Is it like, like a purple? So is it purple or blue? <laughs> Okay, it's let's blue. say purple, purple, right, purple, not blue, purple, so you cannot get confused, okay? Don't you worry, but if you see that color as blue, okay, no worry, you can say blue as well, there we go. So let's see, vamos a ver, vamos a elegirlos en diferente manera ahorita. As I already have 15, no, let me see, 14 students. Let me see. Jasmine, tell me a number from 1 to 16. 12. <laughs> okay. 1, 2, okay. Pero no hablen, si no se cambia el orden. Okay, 12. Vamos a ver. Come on. <laughs> 1, 2. Three, four, five, six, seven. Lourdes, Lourdes. Hi, Lourdes. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. You're fine? So are you ready to participate? I guess. <laughs> I guess, right? I know you can do it. And after Lourdes, uh, she is going to be the one who is going to pick one of you so you can continue with this activity. And we are going to do the same process, you know, so we can have 
all of you participating. Aquí vamos, so, low orders. Remember, you need to say the color. So here we go, try please. Okay, green, red, blue, yellow, blue, black, uh, red, blue, and green. <laughs> okay, once again, but this time a little bit faster. Okay, we'll try. Uh, green, red, blue, yellow, blue, black, uh, red, <laughs> um, blue, and green. There we okay. go. There we go. Excellent. Lourdes, pick one of your classmates. By name? Yeah, by name. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know who, maybe Diego? Diego, go ahead, please. I knew it. Okay. <laughs> Go. Green, red, purple, yellow, purple, black, red, purple, green. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A little bit faster, please. Uh, okay. Yellow, red, purple. No, not yellow. Once no, again. No. <laughs> uh, green, <laughs> green, red, purple, yellow, purple, black. Red, purple, green. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Pick one of your classmates. Okay. Um, Jasmine. Jasmine, go ahead, please. Yeah. I knew it. <laughs> I was expecting it, yes. <laughs> okay. So, um, so it's green, red, purple, yellow, purple, black, red, purple, green. Once again, faster, please. Okay. <laughs> green, red, purple, yellow, purple, black, red, purple, green. There we go. Excellent, mm. Jasmine. Who's next? Ah. Who's the next one? Charlie? Uh, okay. Let's look for him. Is he already in the class? Ah, yeah, he's there. Okay, Jarvin, Harvin, are you ready to participate? Okay. No, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Green, red, blue, yellow, green, blue, black, red, blue, green. Okay, once again. Let me, let me, let me, let me try. Okay, green, red, blue, yellow, blue, black, red, blue, and green. And green, excellent. Who's the next one? Okay, David. David, go ahead. Okay. Green, red, purple, yellow, purple, black, red, purple, green. Once again. Second time. Green, red, purple, yellow, purple, black, red, purple, green. Excellent. Who's the next one? The next one, Andres Giovanni. Okay, Andres. Okay. Green, red, blue, yellow, blue, black, red, blue, green. Okay, second time, please. Green, red, blue, yellow, blue, black, red, blue, green. Okay. Con mucha confianza, excellent. So confident. Okay. There we go. Second, no, not second time. Pick one of your classmates. Genesis. Genesis. Go, please. Okay. Green, red, blue, yellow, blue, black, red, blue, green. Okay, second time, a little bit okay. faster. Green, red, blue, yellow, blue, black, red, blue, green. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it's hard. I know, <laughs> who is still missing? Let me see. Um, Who's still Madeline? Missing? Okay, we still have Madeline, Doris, Freddy's, who else? Me. Jocelyn Erwin. Okay. 
Here we go. So who's the next one, Genesis? Um, Madeline. Madeline, okay, Madeline. Go, please. Hey, um, green, red, blue, yellow, blue, black, red, blue, green. Okay, one more time. Green, red, blue, yellow, blue, black, red, blue, green. There we go. Madeline, who's the next one? Erwin. Erwin, go please. Hey, good evening. Hi, good evening. Yellow, blue, orange, black, red, green, purple, yellow, red. Glass. Remember, Erwin, say the color, not the wool. Oops, sorry. Don't you worry, try yeah. it again. Oops, sorry, teacher. I, okay. I was working. Sorry, teacher. Oh, yeah, no, don't worry, yeah. don't worry. Go ahead, you I know you can do it. Okay. Um, green, red, blue, yellow, blue, black, purple, blue, green. Okay, that was not purple. That was red, blue, red, blue. green. There we go. The, okay, second time. Go, Erwin. One, once again. Oh, so difficult, teacher. Oh. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I, 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 I don't like to play. It's so difficult for me. But this is a good training, you know? Oh, okay, well, I will do it. Green, red, blue, yellow, blue, black, red, blue, green. There we go. Excellent. I will explain something. Uh -huh. uh, when, I, when, I, when I read, I will so concentrate. Uh -huh. okay? I, 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 don't, I concentrate when, when I, I read something. Uh -huh. So it's, it's all of the things, if, if I say something and say other thing that no is true, okay? Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> but you see, you did it. You did it. Excellent. So, Erwin, who is yeah. still missing? Let me see. I guess I still have. Okay, guys, can you raise your hand? The ones who are still missing. I guess I have William, right? Me. William. Francisco, Francisco. There okay, you go. Jocelyn. Jocelyn. There you go. Uh, Jocelyn, Jocelyn. Okay, Jocelyn. Okay, Jocelyn, go ahead, please. Jocelyn and Doris, she's the next one. Go, Jocelyn. Mm, okay, green, red, blue, yellow, blue, black, red, blue, green. Once again. Green, red, blue, yellow, blue, black, red, blue, green. There we go, excellent. Jocelyn, who is the next one? Mm, you mentioned Doris. Yeah, Doris, I guess. He, she is ready. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, Dari. Green, red, purple, yellow, purple, black, red, purple, green. There we go. Second time. A little bit faster, Doris. Green, red, purple, yellow, purple, black, red, uh, purple, green. There we go. <laughs> Excellent, Doris. Who okay. is still missing, Doris? Eh, Francisco. Okay, Francisco, go please. Okay, I tried. Uh, sorry, teacher, could you please apply, apply to me what is the, the rulers? Okay, yeah, sure. What do you need to do is to say the color and not the word. Say the color. Not the word. Uh -huh. For example, the first one, it says yellow. But you're not going to say yellow. You're going to say green because that oh. is the color, right? You understand. I okay, go it. ahead. Uh, green, red, yellow, black, purple, red, orange. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> once no, no, no. again, once again. Green, green, red, blue, yellow, black, purple. 
No. Uh -huh. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Well, once again. Green. Okay. Green, red, blue, yellow, black, purple, red. Black, purple, red. Mm, okay. I know what's going on. Tenemos que decir cada palabrita, ¿ok? Cada color de cada palabra. So, at the end, you're going to say nine. Nine different colors. Nine. ¿Ok? okay. Mm. Green, red, blue, yellow, black, purple. Ok, first red. line. We have green, red. We have green, red, purple. And purple. Go ahead yeah. with the second one. Yellow. Yellow. Black. It's not black. It's the one in, that is in the middle. Yeah. It's blue, black. Mm -hmm. blue, blue, black. Blue, black. Red. And red. Blue and green. Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't worry, don't worry. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> okay, thank you, teacher. Gran colapso mental. No, don't worry, don't worry. Okay. Who's still missing? ¿Quién nos falta? Uh -huh. William, I guess, right? Are you ready, William? No, but I'm trying. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Green, red, blue, yellow, blue, black, red, uh, blue, green. There we go, second time. Green, red, blue, um, yellow, blue, black, red, blue, green. There we go, excellent. William, who is still missing? I have Janari, Telma, she's already in the class. Telma? Okay, Telma, go ahead, please. Hello, good evening. Hi, Hi. say the color and not read the word. Same color. Yes, yeah, say the color. Well, <laughs> green, red, blue, blue, yellow, black. Mm. What, 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 yellow. Yellow. Yellow, black. Um, purple, blue. What mm. color is this one? Yellow red. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is blue. What color is this? Red. Not really. Yellow. ¿Qué color es este? La palabra es blue. Blue. It's blue. So it's no, blue. Vamos a decir red. Vamos a decir. Ah, okay. Okay. Vamos otra vez. Once again. <laughs> Since the beginning. Wow. But I don't know what is it true. <laughs> a... Green, 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 red, blue, yellow, uh -huh. black, red. <laughs> okay, don't okay, don't worry, don't worry. Aquí no quedamos. This is blue. Luego yeah. seguía black. Uh -huh. Red. Red, yellow, blue, black. <laughs> okay. ah, I don't know. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, Telma. Tranquila. Okay, okay. 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 Do you want to try, Janari? <laughs> okay. Great okay. job, Telma. <clears throat> Go, please. I'm going to try. Yeah. Uh, green, red, blue, yellow, blue, black, red. Blue, green. Okay, second time. A little bit faster. <clears throat> green, red, blue, yellow, blue, black, red, blue, green. Blue, green. Excellent, excellent. Okay, let me see. ¿Quién falta? Freddy's. Freddy's, Freddy's. Are you ready, Freddy's? Yeah, why not? <laughs> okay. Who says fear? House. Okay. Start now. Yeah, please. Green, red, blue, yellow, blue, black, red, blue, green. 
Once again. Green, red, blue, yellow, blue, black, red, blue, green. There we go. Excellent, excellent job. Okay, be honest. Who is still missing? Nobody, right? Let me see. Well, Erwin Madeline. Okay, todos. Okay, let me ask you. ¿Por qué creen que les costó? Why? Why is this activity so hard? Sure. Yes, David. Because your brain tells you, you need, makes you read instead of see the color. Okay. Yes. Okay. Excellent opinion. Yes, David. Yes. Uh, once uh, uh, this activity uh, was given to a group of uh, uh, a boys that can read, mm -hmm. then then the activity was given to a boy that can't read. The boys that can't read do it very well. It was because easier. They, mm -hmm. Because they don't get confused because they don't need, mm -hmm. they don't read and only see the color. So, we, okay. We that, have that, the that, problem because yeah. we can read and we, we, can. Are, we, we are trained to read. Uh -huh. And at the first time we read. Okay. It's, it's the, in the first time we read and then we see all the other things because the training we have. So, ¿creen que nos pasaría en otro idioma? En un idioma que no conocemos. No. 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 It would be the, the, the same as he is expressing, right? Si nosotros, yes. nuestro cerebro, ¿qué pasa? He is trying to, to read mm -hmm. the information that we have there. Exactly. Teacher, uh, I, saw, I saw that activity in a uh, show TV. Uh, his, no, I don't know if, if it's Let history it uh -huh. or I don't remember, but uh -huh. just the, the children uh, told that the, um, the color, say the color, so that Exactly. I know. I was uh, also watching that. Creo que era cerebro, no sé, pero. Juegos yeah. mentales. Juegos mentales, that's right. So this is yeah. one of those activities. Juegos mentales. So uh, have this ever or probably before that's this happened to you. For example, whenever we were trying to um, understand, you know, English. Or we when we trying to express different ideas in English. ¿Será que nos pasó antes? ¿Por qué creen que se mezcla también el español con el inglés? Tell me, dígame su opinión. ¿Será que pasan los idiomas también? Or not, not really. Yes? I think that yes. It does, it does. It happens, I think. Right? Pasa también. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So... I really motivate you to practice with this type of activities because this is um, brain like game at the same time it's a training you know so you can start practicing practice and practice not reading but instead of saying the color there are many activities like this one that I'm going to bring to this class remember uh, this is just like an introductory activity so we can have fun at the beginning, but at the same time to practice and to reach to these type of conclusions as well, right? So excellent. It's really nice to have you back. This is a new week. And let me see, I'm going to check the attendance list in this moment. Vamos a ver quién está en la clase. Let me see. Here we go. Here we go. Just give me a moment. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Andres, Giovanni, Valdivia, support you. Present. 
David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Diego Alejandro Caballero López. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Okay. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Here, teacher. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. I'm here. Genesis de Carmen Hernández Brizuela. Present. Arvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Jasmine Marisol Escobar Flores. Present. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Present. Lourdes Montserrat Hernández Velasco. Present. Madeline Yamilet Molina González. Present. Selma Clotilde Peña Martínez. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abac. Present. There we go. Okay, great. So let's move on to the topic that we are going to cover in today's class. Please do not forget uh, as possible, right? If you can have your camera on, it would be really nice, you know? Remember, this is one of the rules that we have uh, or that INSA4 requests or is checking, you know, from these classes. Vamos a ver. ¿Qué era el topic? Vamos a ver. Ethics in management. Probably uh, we don't remember about this definition because in the previous class we were discussing about it and I have uh, the definition again. So you can remember about this topic and what is like the idea of this topic, right? So let me have one of you. So you can help me out reading the definition and there we have some examples as well. There we go. Let me see. Uh, Andres Giovanni, can you please read the definition? What are the ethics in management? Yeah. Ethics in management refers to a company's social responsibility. It is the discipline that deals with what is good and evil, or right and wrong, or moral responsibility and duty. In other words, ethics in management can be defined as a set of moral principles. Okay, there we go. Thank you very much. So ethics in management refers to a company's social responsiveness. Remember that uh, these type of topics uh, are applied to our workplace. So in this case, think about your company, think about your business or your workplace, right? Whenever we talk about ethics, uh, we refer to the discipline that deals with what is good and evil or right and wrong. In simple words, it can be defined as a set of moral principles. So we are going to have an activity right now. And for that, you're going to be discussing uh, these questions that we have here, four different questions that we're going to have. You know, we're going to work in groups, take a look at the questions that we have, and what is the purpose of this activity? Let me have some volunteers, or let me pick some of you. Doris, what is the purpose or the objective for this activity? I will be able to. I will be to stay a variety of benefits that result from the appropriate management of the ethics at the workplace. There we go. A variety, variety of benefits that result from the appropriate management of ethics at the workplace. Madeline, what are the questions that we have? And how you describe an unethical practice of an organization 
Uh, are there economic consequences for business that conducts unethical practices? Um, do you know about any case of business following unethical practices in the country? Can you think of three benefits that a company which runs an effective management of ethics, ethics gets? Get. How would you describe an unethical practice of an organization? Are there economic consequences for a business that conducts unethical practices? I guess, right? Do you know about any case of business following unethical practices in the country? I guess it was two weeks ago or three weeks ago. I don't know if you um, were following this, this one, this new. Era la de San Jax. No sé si vieron esa noticia. San Jax. No? About the pollution. Yes. Yes, about the pollution. Yes. Yes. I guess yes. this is a great example. Plan de la Laguna. Right? El plan de la Laguna, exactly. Podemos poner ese ejemplo. About the economic consequences. Yo creo que sí hay. And the last one. Can you think of three benefits? Okay. Benefits that a company which runs an effective management of ethics gets, I guess we can have more, more benefits, right? Because remember, if the company has an effective management, of course, we are going to have great results. So let's go ahead. Let's have this discussion with your classmates. Let's bring those examples. And after that, we are going to be discussing. Where can you find this information? Let me show you. Go to your book, student's book, page number 15, page number 15. Let me show you. In this moment, we are just going to have these questions, you know? We are going to discuss about this activity. Later on, we are going to have this one, building vocabulary. But as of right now, please concentrate only in this activity. Here we go, class. Let me see. Okay, here we go. David. Vamos a moverlo a David. Okay. Uh, here we go. go please. Two devices. Tiene dos dispositivos ahora también, David. Yes. Okay. One in room two and one in room four. Room two and four. Yes. Okay. So let me send you to room number four. Okay. Go ahead. And Fernando, you can stay here. Okay. No hay problema, Fernando. Puede quedarse acá en la sala principal. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Page 15. Okay, let me see. Page number 15. Page number 15, okay? Okay. I don't know if any of you can share his or her screen. Compartan la pantalla, please. So you can 
easily have that information. So you can easily read the information. There we go. Yeah. So if you see the gas stations, like there's sometimes they're like putting some um some vehicles in in order for the the customers can uh, participate in order to win them, and that's how they avoid. Mm, yeah. How do you say that? It's uh. What do you think, Erwin or Francisco? Well, um, I have a bad, a bad experience with the Banco de Vivienda. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think that this is a, a big kind of um, a unethical practice in an uh, organization organization bancaria, I don't know how you say, it. but I have a problem because uh, uh, three years ago, I I tried to, um, to have money uh, from the um, electronic cashier, mm -hmm. but the ATM? In, yeah. Okay. Uh, in in this case, I have a, a problem because the the power uh, se cortó la electricidad. Have you say, teacher? Sorry. Went off. Went off. Went off. Uh, went uh -huh. off Excellent. the electricity in this moment. Mm, okay. Um. Um. I cannot have a. Or, or, or the ATM do not spend the money. But when, when I go to the bank, I put the client. Uh, wow, well, I, I need in this, in this case, I, I want to um, Cómo hacerlo. Estuve esperando. You had to wait I, for a very I was, long period of time. Yes. Yeah, around two months. But really? When I, yeah, when I received the the calling for the banks, mm -hmm. the the the, the viviendas eh, or the uh, customer service mm -hmm. they me me that. The, the my client is no valid. Oh no, but why yeah. not? <laughs> because so, because they told me, me that the cajero spend the the money when the power come back. Mm -hmm. But <gasps> it's ridiculous because uh, and, and you were not longer there. No, or no, that was I, a, a big lie, you know. It wasn't like that. I was I was waiting for uh -huh. for um, fifteen minutes, uh -huh. but the power never oh no never come back. Uh -huh. But uh, this was a, a answer to the customer service of the vivienda. Oh no. Wow, well, I I lost uh, 50, $55. Dollar. 55, yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot. But okay, I think so. it is a numerical practice. It is, it is. Mm -hmm. how, how about you guys? Have you ever had an experience like this one before or an unethical practice which any type of organization? 
Uh, I had one in my last job. Uh, the manager and the owner was very um, bad <laughs> administrator. Uh, he preferred to pay the provider, uh, not the, the salaries. <laughs> so uh, the date was, they, he delayed the payment of the paycheck and the commissions for the salesman. So it was really hard to work there. Wow, that's really sad. Okay, go ahead, guys. Keep on discussing these questions, okay? Yes, okay. <clears throat> but uh, I think something about the unethical, yeah? Because the company have two, two times the clients, okay? The employees and who buy who buy the customer, okay? But the etiquette is paramount for both employees and the customer. But ethics damage the brand for the company and bad ethics hurts the employees. Yes, teacher? Yes. But you know, in the case of customers, can we have control of them, for example, we do not really know about who our customers are, you know? Or if for they example, really like to practice an ethical. Or if example, they, uh, tell me. Guarantees, guarantee. Oh yes, the warranties, exactly. Guarantee. It is the one, one example uh, more common in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this, in the future, maybe the, the manager can think the future they will buy brand for the company mm -hmm. for the only uh, the without the editor yes i get your point so yeah I, I guess it's really hard you know because remember ethic or ethical behavior i guess um it is not supposed to change right because it is like a set of rules and model right supone que no debería de cambiar but in this case eh, la moral es la que cambia la ética no it cannot change no puede ser cambiar so it depends on people we could say that yeah these are uh, unethical practices because they are not following this type of moral rules but in this case it's very hard to to deal with customers as you were mentioning, right? So, but that is a great example as well. So keep on talking and discussing this question, please. Okay, I will read the second. It says, are there economic consequences for a business that conducts medical practices? I think. What was the... the the second part of RIM, RIMS, what, how do you write it? R-I-M, Pacific RIM. Ah, yes. Uh-huh. Is that That one. Yeah, that one. Pacific RIM. Uh-huh. It's variable capital. The Pacific RIM, they, they got into, uh, into a lawsuit because they like that, uh -huh. to dig to dig uh, gold illegally, and they tried to appeal to the OMC or the International Committee of Commerce, mm -hmm. and they said that they were part of the Tratado de Libre Comercio, and they were not part of the. No sé cómo se dice en inglés, pero era de lo del Triángulo Norte. Entonces como parte del Triángulo Norte, no entraban en el TLC, la OMC este, lo, lo declaró que, no, que, no, que el gobierno de Salvador ganó ese juicio. Mm. Uh -huh. yep. So there are consequences of doing... We carry that as a reason, a reason there is a reason by that communities finally Will the nice selling their lands? So people didn't want to sell their land. So they yes, yes. Is, and they demanded is. the government 
um, start uh, making doing something so they could. And because of the, they were part of the commerce uh, treaties, they were kicked out of the country. And I don't and I don't remember if they had to pay a fine or water pollution. This is the problem. Water pollution and impacts on agriculture and health. Yes. This was the, this is the problem. Mm -hmm. And but, we have Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim. Mm -hmm. Water pollution and impacts on agriculture. Drink healthy, yes. So let's go. Maybe negative, negative impact. Yeah, negative impacts. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. so let's go with the other one. Yes, and the last one is. Can you think of three benefits that a company which runs an effective management of ethics gets? A uh, good reputation, that's one. What was the first one? Good reputation. Yes, yes, it's a good one. Mm -hmm. Good reputation. Uh, what other thing do you get? Good, um, credibility. Credibilidad. So you get, yeah. you get good reputation. Um, and what else? I can't say like something like an exact word. It says "se que algo positivo de." It's about the business. I I think it is both both, but how how can we involve some companies in that way? But for example, if the if the company in, for example, if the customer perceive that the the company have signed about a medical behavior, um, for example, they they um I don't know, but they are for example. Um, they follow the example in what you are doing. Mm -hmm. And in, in business, for example, your business, your company's reputation is a big contributor uh, toward your company's success. But the, rep the reputation of the song company is not for the, the name, it's for the how the employees work, I think. Yeah, I think this is why I, I make that question because uh, it's a, a little bit difficult to, to, to understand what is correct to say if the company has unethical practices or are the, the management of the company or something in the that works in that company. Yes, but I think it is the management. Mm -hmm. I guess it's about the business. And it got back to business. No, not only in produced. Yeah, because if you your customers uh, perceive you to be an ethical run organization, okay, they are more like likely to continue to the business with you mm -hmm. and don't recommend to others. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next question is, are there economic consequences for a business that conduct unethical practices? Sorry. Conduct unethical practices could be a lost profit um, for, for example, false, false product. <clears throat> Yeah, because yes, you are, are um, 
you get lost in your customers. Mm -hmm. As we yeah. Um, uh... And they, uh, as we said, we, they don't recommend. Then they, they don't recommend you to others. Mm -hmm. They lose credibility, right? Uh -huh. Credibility. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Because people they won't recommend uh, us to go and buy or to go and have a service with this company again. So yes, mm -hmm. right. That is a, a consequence. Excellent. Any other? How do you say multa in English? How do you say multa? Here we go. Let's look for it. Pero multa, será esa una... You are discussing about the second one, right? Economic yes. consequence. Yes. But in what, in in what context? For do example, it? you have a bad, a bad practice uh -huh. under the law. Is the organization who is responsible to manage that mm -hmm. is knowled, you're going to have a, a, a multa because you are working the law. Oh, this yeah. could be a, a, a economic consequence, yeah. I think. Yeah, they're getting fines, fines. Very right. cool. Sí, también es verdad. For example, the bus drivers. But, but it doesn't apply here in El Salvador, I guess, right? Imagine. Uh, who are the ones who need to pay those fines? Esas multas a los bus drivers, right? ¿Quién será? Los que conducen mal y las multas, all of them. Será la empresa or the drivers itself? Who are the ones or who is getting affected by committing or having these unethical practices? I think the company. The company, probably. Mm. Right? I don't think so. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> no, because well, in in my opinion, could be, could be the driver. The driver, because, right? Yeah, uh, because the company have a uh, rules. And the um, driver is uh, isn't make a mistake with about the uh, with about the rules. Exactly. The company yeah. rules, yeah. The company rules. So and then there are uh, penalty fee. Yes. Yeah. Please. So in that case, I guess it's only the driver. That's why but, this but it, but the uh -huh. company yeah. but the mm -hmm. company uh, have a uh, have a mistake mm -hmm. the and then <laughs> which uh, uh, I don't know I don't know what is it, what is a problem uh -huh. for the company have a mistake so you know what came yeah. to my mind yeah. it is what happened you know with la ruta 42 do you remember recuerdan de la 42 mm -hmm. yeah ah. uh -huh. so this <laughs> was a big big penalty practice <laughs> imagine so think about uh, the economic consequences for the owner of this uh, como lo llamas los microbuses right de la ruta 42 so, but in this case, there are a big, a big penalty for, for the, uh, mm -hmm. the British contract. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So in this, in this case, it was not like uh, a small fee or fine that he had to pay, right? Because he lost like all of the help that the government was given to each of the, the units, right? So that is a great example. So guys, keep on discussing and giving those specific examples. We still have time, keep on working. Okay. Great job. Yeah.
Sí. Ok, the number three is, do you know about any case of business following unethical practices in the country? Who knows? <laughs> like the 42 rule. <laughs> Yeah, about the any case of a business follow an ethical practice in the country. Do you know about some case? Because uh, I... in internet, internet case. <laughs> the service uh, is is bad. How about it, Claro? <laughs> what happened with Claro? I don't get practice because ah, um, they offer you, you have a, the best. Hi, guys. Did you finish with the discussion? Yes, teacher, we finished. So you are ready to present the information with your classmates. We will try, but we will try. Ready. Come on, say, teacher, I'm ready. <laughs> so take a look at the questions that we have. Remember that in question number three and four, we are asking for a specific information. Do you know about any case of a business? following unethical practices in the country, be ready to give those examples, please. And in the last one, think about three benefits, benefits that a company gets, you know, for having an effective management. There we go. So if you're ready, it is time to come back to the main room. Here we go, class. Okay, teacher. Okay. There we go. Let's wait for your classmates. Okay, okay. Here we go. Okay, great. Now I'm ready to listen. You no, know? so listen. I've been listening to you guys, but I really want you to share the information that you were discussing with your classmates so the whole class can listen about, it, right? Let's see, let's have the first one. How would you describe an unethical practice of an organization? And for that, let me have the first group. What is your opinion about that? How would you describe that? Andres, Diego, Alejandro, Kenya, and Jocelyn. Okay, the first one mm -hmm. uh, can be defined as uh, as an action that is against the social norms and is something that is unacceptable to the people. Okay, excellent definition. Mm -hmm. What is your opinion, group number two? Doris, Fernando, Fredis, and Hennes. Uh, do we read question number two? No, the or same. The first the one, how would you describe an unethical practice of an organization? Well, we're talking about, uh, it's when companies uh, do um, 
or commit fraud or or have commit actions that go against um you know the what is considered good mm -hmm. so we were talking about how how companies uh evade paying taxes for example and that kind of action is what we would consider unethical unethical there we go Group number three, Erwin, Francisco, Lourdes, and Madeline. Same question. How would you describe an unethical practice of an organization? When a company do not pay the cotizaciones sociales. Mm. Ah, okay, lo del seguro social, ah, okay. Yeah. There we go. So that is a great example. Group number four, what is your opinion? Harbin, no. David, Jasmine, and Janari. Okay, teacher, no. we uh, put examples, examples about uh, what are unethical practice, like uh, accepting bribes or rude opinions about the uh, workers, about employees, even though about partners. A tax evasion, the same customers with products and service, and committing frauds. Yes, right. Those are great examples. You know, I was about to ask you about that. Second question was about that, but great examples, David. Harvin, Thelma, and William. What is your definition, or how would you describe an unethical practice of an organization? William or Harvin, <laughs> I guess you both are ready to participate. Okay. <laughs> or, or, okay. Tell me. Are bad, are bad practice implemented in an organization like a like a false product claim, unethical accounting, defamation, lying to employees, or violating internal rules mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in benefit of organization. <laughs> there we go. So as you may see, unethical practices, we all conclude or we all are in agreement that of course they these companies of course they have like the in this case, uh, not benefit, you know? Because at the end, I guess it is better for these companies, workplaces to follow the rules, but they most of the time look for or to get in the easier way, you know, to get benefit instead of working hard. So what are some examples about unethical practices? As David, he was mentioning some examples on ethical practice. For example, in some public institutions that they use national vehicles to a particular. That's right. Yes. They are using <laughs> public money. Yes. To, for in, his interest. Okay. Interesting. Any other example? Unethical practices. Mm. Now, if not, let me go back. We had this type of examples in the previous class. Take a look at this ones. Abusive behavior, employee theft, misusing company time. Mm -hmm. So these are great examples. Violating company internet policies, lying to employees. So think about examples like this one. 
¿Qué comportamientos notamos de un unethical behavior? What are some examples? For example, teacher, theft of time and materials could okay. be misuse of company technology uh -huh. and lying about performance. Okay. For example, if you get access to these printers, right? Las impresoras que imprimen en, en yeah. laser. Yeah. I Do print you? Print. <laughs> Imprimir la tesis, right? Or to get extra <laughs> material, you know? <laughs> para yeah. la escuela, para no sé qué. No, yeah, right, it happens, you know? My It's okay. <laughs> exactly. Or probably they say, oh no, aquí hay muchas resmas de papel. They do not really need them, right? I'm gonna take one so I can have one at home, right? Or to have, a, I don't know what comes to my mind in my case, you know, what I can remember, markers as teachers, you know, I really need them. I'm gonna take them home because I need them. You know, because the school is going to give me some extra material at the beginning of the month, so. Yes, I can take them home. So those those kind of uh, you know examples, unethical behavior that at the end we probably think that yes, I I know I can do it, I deserve it, right? But not really. We need to think it twice. Teacher, so let's go back. Tell me. It's like when the teachers ask to all the students to take um some soap or take them some alcohol bottle health and yeah, when the yeah. student wants to use it there's no one because the teacher stays at home <laughs> yes right and so you know probably at public schools it may yeah, happen right happens it happens a lot but in private schools no not really you know because there's like a certain uh, control you know for teachers so they cannot take those. They ask to the students yes. and bring some brooms and some mops uh -huh. and all of them disappears. <laughs> all, yeah, all of the sudden, <laughs> there's not toilet paper so students can, can use it, right? There we go, great example. Take a look at the second one. Are there economic consequences for a business that conducts unethical practices? Yes or no? What is your opinion? Are there economic consequences? Yes or no? Yes, yes. They yeah. should, there should be. <laughs> that kind of practice. Oh, there yes. should be. Absolutely. Bad reputation. There okay. should be. Yes, teacher. No, the not really. Uh -huh. There should be the employees stealing the items. Uh -huh. So, what I think the there are. Yes. There are, but since many companies they really don't get punished because either they never uh you know if us as employees know about these things but most of us won't say anything i'm not saying i'm not talking about me i'm talking about okay. any employee uh, out of fear and or out of the the backlash that they could get if they talk about these things and so that i think there are uh punishments but they mostly don't receive them i think they don't right any other opinion the good example maybe could be the or, or yeah or ex-presidents so <laughs> yes who were the ones the affected ones <laughs> The ones who are paying the consequences. Yeah. We as customers now, Salvadorian people, exactly. So imagine. Asking about the presidents, the president, I'm not paying the consequences. They're in another country, spending <laughs> all the money that they stole. Imagine, right. So as yeah. Anna, she was mentioning, there should be, there deberían de haber consequences, but no, not really, not for all of them. Yes, tell me. Mm -hmm. Did you have an opinion? Not really. Okay. So let me ask you, Erwin, what is your opinion about this? Has this happened before in your company? About 
probably not you, but economic consequences for any of your employees. Employees, okay. Mm -hmm. You have a key resource in the company, financial, mm -hmm. personal, and technology. Okay. If the, if the employees will feel without emotion, they don't work so full. Okay. Yeah, so full. Um, many companies, many companies in your mind think I will discount more for my for my employees. For example, for example, a commission for the salesman. Okay. Hey, I will pay less. Okay, you won't. Oh, discount, discount, discount. But mm -hmm. the employees will work well. Yeah, in the future. No, so full, never so full. And one example, did you remember the ex alcalde? How say alcalde? Mm -hmm. uh, Mason. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mason, huh? Mason. This is the job because he don't play the the the, the, the employees that for the government. Right? This is what an example, good example. So is it only because of that or? Mm, I don't think so, right? Or será solo por eso? This is the one. I, many, many kinds you can find in, in one company. Mm -hmm. Many kinds, many kinds. Exactly, right? So any other example about economic consequences? Your brand, the company brand. If you don't, uh, you have you have, for example, one customer buy something, and you don't give the guarantee, the, mm -hmm. the guarantee, yeah, and the brand will be go down, 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 down. Yes, right. Yeah? And after that, the time is peak. All the time, time is peak. Yes, right. So think about of, uh, these big companies. Pensemos en Claro. Claro, Tigo, those big companies. Uh, do they really need to spend in advertisement because they really need to bring those customers back, you know, because they probably they were practicing unethical behavior. So is that an example of economic consequences? Spending, you know, yes. advertising. It's yeah. so easy. It's so easy. For example, if you have, it's so in a server, it's so easy. Oops, I have an internet from uh, Claro. Mm -hmm. It's bad. The, uh, the Salvadorian people change, only change, change the other company. I will go to Tigo, and maybe Tigo uh, is bad too. Oop, I will change Claro too, and they play with the customer all the time. Exactly. Yeah. They do play, they do not really care about that. So that is an example of economic consequences. Because think about of a good um, business, a good place. Would you recommend, you know, probably in a small business, we do not really need to think about big companies. Would you have this recommendation to your family, to your friends, probably? So in that case, they won't need to spend that much, you know, in advertising. So in this case, it wouldn't be like an economic consequence for this business, right? Because they are not uh, conducting themselves in unethical practices, right? So yes, we can have so many examples. Uh, Genesis, read the third uh, question that we have there. What is the third one? Let me see. Um, do you know about any case of a business following unethical practices in the country? Okay. Do you know about any case of a business following unethical practices in the country? Yes, class. Let me listen to you. First group. What do you have? What are your examples? Andres, Diego, Kenya, and Jocelyn. Well, we discussed about the uh, previous case that you mentioned before, San Jacques, that they already are building, I guess, in loyalty yeah. uh, to the customer because maybe they lost a lot of customers, a lot of employees for the for that issue. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Any other example? Jocelyn, oh, that was the only one that you were discussing about. Actually, it was the only one, and the, the only one, sorry. Okay, don't worry. Okay, Doris, Fernando, Freddy, and Hennes. What were your examples? We were talking about how some stores, uh, when they advertise a sale, they actually raise the prices, and then they say that the item is on sale and in the end it is the same price as it used to be and like in the black friday for example they do that a lot so yeah exactly discussing that one any other example mm. well Fre freddy's was talking about uh, uh the when the companies don't pay the iff Mm -hmm. and, and IFP, el seguro, exactly, right? They do because not it gets this, uh, they do take that money from us, but exactly. then when you go and check, it's not on your account. Exactly. And for, well, he was saying that um, they actually get charged with a penalty fee mm -hmm. that is a lot lower or less than what they actually owe. And I, we think that is unfair because they will obviously prefer to just pay the, that fee, but the employee is already, uh, it, the employee is the one that takes the, the blow mm -hmm. because they won't return that money to him. No, right, because the discount, it always gets reflected right in the payroll so they are not getting that money right. back exactly and at the end they didn't get the service as well so yes companies they do prefer to pay that small fee instead of you know doing uh, these ethical practices right what were the examples that you were discussing guys erwin francisco lourdes and madeline i remember teacher that we talk about the the case. Mm -hmm. I remember some years ago, the news show some case in Mr. Donalds. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think that this is a good example because, yeah, well, um, I think when I buy wherever things, I like it have a, a good quality. Um, obviously, um, that the products are not damaged or mm -hmm. contaminated. No. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But in this case, Mr. Donald was selling. So, oh, yes. Now I remember exactly. Exactly. When was it? I guess it was like two years ago, right? Yeah. Two years ago. La donas al dos por uno, exactly. I still remember about that. Yeah, and I remember what, what were the minutes. consequences? <laughs> what were wow. the consequences they had as a company? As reputation. Their reputation, yeah. Okay. But I um, guess people, they don't really remember about that, right? They yeah. easily forget. <laughs> So, yeah, song but, starter was um, closer, closer yeah, but I guess they are they already reopened those places back, right? Yeah. So that's why they don't really care at the end. In the end. Harbin, Isaac, Thelma, and William. What were your examples? We were talking about the same case about the Mr. Don. Really? Mr. Yes, this is the case that we were talking about. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Any so, other example? Uh, that was the I, I remember that Walmart have some troubles. Yeah, some for for some decades. And uh, 
well, well, uh, they they have some trouble for about the overtime paid abuse. Oh, so discrimin gender discrimination and and so uh, impact on small business. Wow. Yeah. So use it intimidation tactics for for this practice. Wow, that's really interesting. Thank you to yeah. Thelma for sharing that information. David, Jasmine, and Janari. What are the examples you. that you have? So we had uh, several examples. So the first that came to mind are some call centers regarding payments. Okay. The schedules and the workload. The other ones that we had was the case for Patria's records that they were shut down because of lead poisoning on the ground and water supply. And the other one that we also discussed was the this company that wanted to dig for gold, the Pacific Rim. And they tried to convince people to sell their houses so they could start digging there. But the activity is illegal. And they tried to force the government to let them do it, uh, argue, arguing that they were part of the Tratados de Libre Comercio, mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. but they weren't because they were Canadian. In Canada, no está en los Tratados de Libre Comercio. So that didn't happen. But they were shut down from the country and they, have, they are not allowed um, inside national borders. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. So think about those consequences, economic consequences for this company, you know? I guess they had a big loss in the end. So, Baterias Record, yes, I still remember about that one as well. Where, where was this? Uh, uh, no uh, in San Juan uh, Opico, uh, right? San Juan Opico. Sí. San Juan Opico. And what uh, were the consequences? Guys, do you uh, they, the were shut, they were shut down because the lead residue, the residue de plomo, was leaking into the ground and it leaked into the water supply. And they started, and they realized the issue because many people started having uh, kidney failure. Kidney failure, imagine. Mm -hmm. so? Kidney failure and, and having some. Oh, no form of cancer regarding either their liver, their intestines, and, or their kidneys. Not just that, the newborns were affected too. Really? Yeah, newborns, little kids, because it was, it was strange that little kids started having cancer very early on or were born with defective mm -hmm. um, organs. Wow. So imagine at the end, not only companies have these consequences, right? But imagine these babies, they didn't, you know, I don't, I don't know how to express it. It's una lastima, crema. They didn't really need to have like these consequences in the end. But it's really sad, it's really sad. Let's have the last one. Benefits. Can you think of three benefits? If you can give me some you no know, extra examples, that would be great. Um, benefits that a company which runs an effective management of ethic gets. What are the benefits? I think about benefits. Let's you avoid see. legal problems. Avoid legal problems. There we go. Any other? They have good reputation as well. Okay. Bad reputation? No, good, I mean, good reputation. Good reputation. With, like, okay. if. Yes, it's so clear. Any other? Why is it harder to think about benefits? <laughs> if we discussed about a non toxic working environment. Okay. Any other example? Maybe the employee can be have a, a good environment. Um, maybe you, 
Uh, as you say, sus tareas asignadas. Mm -hmm. Can like be more. The, the role. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. They can also get awards because the, uh, there are some awards for, for example, uh, in my field, uh, we have some awards for when you get a, a lead certification, which is when whenever you design a building that is um, is self efficient and it um, mm, ah cumple cumple con with all the the, the requirements the requirements okay. for that specific certification. Okay, interesting. So, great examples and great discussion, guys. Let's move on. I guess we are not going to have like that extra time so we can finish with this activity, but at least we're going to start with it. As you were discussing about these questions, let's move on to the second activity. That is just about looking for this vocabulary, you know? Building vocabulary. As you may see, same page, page number 15. We're going to have a for today. Let's go ahead and look for the definition. You know, we have four different uh, key terms that we're going to be discussing later on. Okay, so let's go back. Vamos a hacer lo mismo. I'm going to send you in groups of four. So each of you is going to look for a specific definition, right? And after that, we are going to bring that information to the whole class so we can compare what you got. Here we go. Okay, go ahead. You put me in two different groups, teacher, five and four. Vamos a ver, David, go to. Room number. I think number four. No, number five. No va a quedar de tres este grupo. Go, please. Room number five. Okay. There we go. Okay, just look for the definition, okay? I guess for one of definition. you, yes, for definition, ethics, wrongdoing, good practices, and the last one. Wait, let me check for you. ¿Cuál era la última? Let me see. <laughs> Can you see the three therapy, the recommendation, and the management gets. Okay, bribe. Tienen el manual del estudiante, chicos. Do you have the, the material there? Yes, I have. Okay. Yeah, bribe was the last one. Bribe.
is my favorite giving a pro or promise in order to invite the teacher. Hi. Hi. Just look Hi. for the definition. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. We actually chose one each. Great. Well, keep on working. Okay, thank you. Okay, so are you ready? I think yes. Okay, who who is looking for ethics? Who has the definition for ethics? Okay, I have ethics. Okay. And the definition says deals with such question at all levels. It such is conscious of fundamental issues of practical dimension making. And is the major concern include the nature of ultimate value. Okay. So can you paste it here on the chat? So we yes. can Yes, let me try. Okay, thanks. Mm. Good practice. So ethics, my principles. I find other other meaning. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I so, share. Right now. I would work in metal or oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Tell me, Yarbi. Huh? Tell me, no. I, I already got the chat. Oh. So let's see. So ethics is a philosophical study of the concepts of moral right and wrong and moral good or and bad. To any philosophical theory of what is mo morally right and wrong or morally good and bad. I the system or code of moral rules, principles, or values. It is a working method or set of working methods that is officially accepted of being as being the best to use in a particular business or industry. So ethics is the study of what's right and what's wrong. In simple and, work, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's also and it's also a method, a working method. Did you find all the definitions? We are looking right now. Okay, great. So I keep on working.
Hi, Kenya. Who else is working in this group? Hello, I think it was Jocelyn. Jocelyn and who else? And Diego, right? Uh, I don't know. No, Diego Caballero, pero no entró. And where is Jocelyn? <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so let's do something. Did you finish with the definition? Kenya or no. not? Not That's really. Easy, yes. So you're still missing. Let's do something. So let me see what I can do because the rest of the groups, they already have the definition. If not, don't you worry. We are coming back to the main room and there you can have the definition, but try to finish by yourself. Look the definitions. I'm going to stay here with you, okay? Okay, thank you. Don't worry. Um, teacher, I don't have all the words. Could you share the words with me, please? Okay, in this moment. We are just looking for, for definitions. Let me show you the ones that we have here. Okay. Look, ethics, wrongdoing, good practices, and bribe. Do you know the meaning of this one? Bribe. ¿Qué será eso? I don't know. Okay. Bribe. Entonces, esa que no sabemos. Veamos. Okay, qué I'm going to look. <laughs> yes. Did you find the definition? Yeah, it's all like fraudulent. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. ¿cómo le llamaríamos también en español? Um, um, aprovechado. Mm -hmm. O oh, un soborno. Un soborno. Soborno también, un soborno, ajá. ¿eh? Así que eso es. Right. Okay. Excellent. Creo que ya es hora que volvamos. Time is almost over. Así que, let's go back to the main room, ¿ok? Ok, teacher, thank you. You're welcome.
Okay, there we go. Did you find the definition? Yes, teacher. You did, excellent. So I guess we still have time to discuss about the different definitions you got. Ethics, what is that, ethics? Ethic in the workplace is defined as the moral code that guides the behavior of employees mm -hmm. with respect to the, what is right and wrong in regard to conduct and decision making. Okay, moral code, excellent. Yes. So it's got a different definition. Okay, I guess not all of your classmates school listen to that definition. David, could you please repeat the definition? Because they were not here. <laughs> yes, teacher, and I, I will share to, to see, you can see it. Okay, sure. Here it is, ethics in the workplace. Is defined as the moral code that guides the behavior of employees with respect to what is right and wrong mm -hmm. in regard to conduct and decision making. That is the definition. There we go. So, got a different one, a different definition. Anybody? Okay. <laughs> okay. Solo uno. Oh, I, yeah, I, do, on. do you want to read all of them? No, just one. Remember, we are comparing because okay. probably not all of you got the same definition, right? Yes. So, yes, group number one, Erwin, Fernando, Thelma, William. What is the definition that you have? About ethics, ethics yes, uh, I got, we have a moral principles that govern a person's behavior or the conducting of an activity. There we go. What is your definition for good practice, Andres, Francisco, Genesis, and Harvey? It is um, whenever you um, make an activity or practice an activity that benefits you or your company. And we were actually discussing uh, good practices at the workplace. Mm -hmm. And it could be uh, giving other people the opportunity to use their skills, uh, supporting your team, uh, encouraging people to contribute to ideas and getting involved in decisions. So are the these are the kind of uh, the good deeds that you can make at your workplace so that's what a good practice okay excellent definition Doris Lourdes Madeline and Janari what is a good practice Garris practice is uh, honesty Mm -hmm. In the workplace, well, in, in all life, yes. Integrity is a other good practice for me. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Madeline, you had something to say. Yes, uh, I think that a good practice is when you uh, work well and produce good results. And at the same time, uh, you uh, made uh, a good decision and uh, is success uh, experience uh, about all the things that you do in your, in your job. And also the company can validate and can see the results that you give to the company. Okay, interesting. So on the other hand, what is a wrong doing? What is the definition for that? Let me have. 
Um, which group is missing? Erwin? What is the definition about? Or one in your group? Erwin, Fernando, Thelma, or William? For wrongdoing, we have yeah. illegal or dishonest behavior. Okay. Just that. Any other definition, guys? We have about... is a, uh, uh, sorry. Uh, we have that is a standard or set of guidelines that they are known to produce good results or outcomes followed. That's what we got. That's what you got, very good. And the last one that is quite interesting. Well, what's the last one? The last definition that we were supposed to, to get. Bribe. And what is that? <laughs> Mor mordida, teach. <laughs> <laughs> La mordida, exactly. Mordida. And what is your definition en for? <laughs> en el original griego es mordida. <laughs> Muy bien. Del griego, mordida. Okay. And what is that? What is bribe? Money or any other val valuable consideration exactly. given or permitted with the view to corrupting the behavior uh -huh. of a person. Especially if that person's performance as athlete or public official. It doesn't matter. Okay. So, in español, la parte de mordida, ¿qué, qué, ¿qué otra definición le damos? ¿Es una? Sobornar. Es un soborno. Ah, no, soborno. Soborno, cuando les pagan los policías para que no te multen. <risa> Exacto, un soborno. Hay muchos tipos de sobornos, no solo monetario, ¿verdad? ¿Qué otro tipo de soborno podríamos tener? Any other example about bribe. There was a, there was a judge, uh, uh, a trial, trial is, a uh, juicio trial, is correct? Yes. Yes, so. This is there was a trial in uh, in the in the uh, attorney. No, the other one. The attorney is that man that accused the other one, uh -huh. the defendant. But but the lawyer, the lawyer that was with the defendant, put a uh, one thousand dollars in the, uh, about thirty years ago. One thousand dollar in the in the bread of the half dog. And give in even to the to the to the people that was in the juror, mm -hmm. and the, he argued, I give one thousand reasons reasons or reasons. Like, how do you say reasons? Uh -huh. Reasons. Reasons. I give you one thousand reasons that my client is not guilty, and I have ten thousand more. Okay. If you let my client go free and the client go out free because he paid a eleven thousand dollars of every of the euro imagine imagine so yeah that is a great example <laughs> and a lot of money you know so you know, interesting tell me. another another example and it may sound uh, bad but sexual favors because sometimes uh, there are men that that want to to bribe uh, women with, yes. with sexual favors for you know for a promotion or something like that. Exactly. If you do this, you're going to get this, right? Mm -hmm. But if you don't do this, this is going to happen, right? So yes, it's not all about money, right? This could be. Uh, all of or different examples about this one so wow take a look at the time chicos we are going to stop with this discussion here because i need to check the attendance list vamos a comparar las definiciones que tengo mañana you know as the first activity because i also have these definitions so here we go let me see who is the one who is going to stay today, just for a while. It was, quien era? Fernando Yasu, Fre Fredis, right? Fredis. 
I guess Freddy's is the one who is going to stay. I already stay. Really? Yeah. Ah, Genesis, no, Harvey. Harvey. Genesis, ya también estuvo. Yeah, so Harvey, please. Could you please stay just for five or ten minutes after the class? Yes, of course. Vamos a chequear. Jocelyn y Melda arriba a barca. Jocelyn. Where is Jocelyn? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no fue Jocelyn. Jessica Yanari Cortez Díaz. I'm here. Okay. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Selma Cleotilde Peña Martínez. Present. Excellent. Madeline Jamilet Molina González. Present. Lourdes Montserrat Hernández Velázquez. Present. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Present. Okay. Kenia. Jasmine Marisol Escobar Flores. Present. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Genesis del Carmen Hernández Virizuela. Present. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. I'm here. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Excelente. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present, teacher. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Diego Alejandro Caballero López. I'm here. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. And Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Good night. Okay, so class, thank you so much for joining this class today. See you next class. Okay, thank you. Bye. 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 Have a great Bye. night. Bye. Thank you. Goodbye, guys. Okay, okay. Hello, Harvin. How's it How's it going? Everything is fine, teacher. Okay, excellent. Monday is over. Yeah, right. Finally, <laughs> you know. Yes. Most of the time, Monday is a very hard day, you know. Yes. Yeah, it's so the beginning of the week because we're coming from Sunday, and yes. But Especially yeah. because today I have a lot of activity in my job, and really? actually, I today I start the university again. So really, but and you're taking already... online classes, or you yeah. need to go to? No, online, online. Yeah. Really, what time are you taking your class? Oh, from five thirty to eight. Eight p.m. Yes. <laughs> really? So after that, you are coming to English class? Yes, but it's not all, every single day. It's oh, only really? Two, okay. Yes, two, three days during the week. Three days in a week. Okay, so that's nice. Yeah, so, you know, at the end, it's going to be very re rewarding. Yeah. So, yes. Okay, Harvin, eh, avanzado número dos. Imagine, estamos en avanzado dos. Congratulations. Y casi you. nadie llega al avanzado dos, right? Because they <laughs> no se esfuerzan. No, no sé, hay muchos factores. No quiero decir eso. So, eh, algo que podamos reforzar ya. No sé. oh, I, I, I have a, a, a problem right now. And yeah. I, maybe I, I want to hear about your experience. because. Okay, <laughs> In my job, I have to use English a lot of by email. And every single week I have a, a meeting with the client. Mm -hmm. They are all, oh, what can I say? North American people. Yes. And so my English, I think is not a professional yet, but I have problem because the words that they, I have to use in my job I forget yeah, yeah. a lot. I don't know why. I think I use I use the words every single day. 
-hmm. but I can't remember the meaning. I don't know why. The, the basic thing I remember, no problem with that. Uh -huh. But the, the, the principal things for the job, I always forget and I, I have problem to remember that. I don't know why. To remember that information. So you yes. need to communicate uh, by speaking or by writing emails only. In both ways. Both ways. So which is easier for you to remember whenever you are typing or whenever you need to have a conversation? Ah, okay. I think when I have a conversation, oh, because okay. when I, I am not so sure when I was typing a, a uh, email. An email, and, okay. And always I have to check with Google Translate because it's a tool that I have in my job. It is, so why not? But you know, uh, what is my recommendation? Because I have had this same situation before. I used to um, work in a company and I had to do the same, you know, to communicate by email. And whenever we are writing emails, we need to be so formal, formal yes. vocabulary. Yes. So, ¿qué hacía yo? En serio, ¿qué hacía yo? Eh, you can look for, eh, se le llama openings and closing email. Hay como expresiones ya fijas. Let me mm -hmm. look for you opening or greetings in an email hay varias y lo que yo hacía así literal tenía mi blog de notas right con yes. todas esas esas ideas y no me salía de ahí greetings for an email yes yes i i have for, for example email. i was i have some fields for work and when I have all the, the, yeah. <laughs> the short sentences uh -huh. and I have to reply some email, I use it. So yes, look for formal greetings for an email or formal uh, and look for this. Formal greetings for an email, and there you're going to get like some examples on how you can type this type of emails, right? Okay. Yes, why not? You can have this information so you can use it. Because in my case, I used to do this, right? Or like to have a template. And as you say, uh, it is very easy for you to forget about the expressions that you are using at your workplace. Why not do the same, you know? Uh, mm -hmm. Write down all of that information and paste it or have that information in a place that you're constantly uh, going, looking for, for example, at your workplace. ¿Qué lugar sería el que más frecuentamos? I don't know if you have like an office or like a personal space in which you are going and looking. Yes, I have my office. You have your office. So do that, please. Okay, hagamos eso. Like to have the words in a document then print that information and paste it just in front of you or have mm -hmm. it just right next to your, um, I don't know, your seat. So you can still be looking at it. Uh, mm -hmm. Have the same vocabulary in your cell phone that we are always checking the cell phone, right? It's another yeah. great way to practice that. And yes, um, remember that as much as you practice, you're going to get familiar with that vocabulary and your brain is going to get used to that vocabulary, those expressions, and you're not going to forget about them. For example, yeah. If you see, if I ask you for the definitions that we were looking today, do you still remember the definitions that we were getting? I don't think so. No, right? <laughs> we yeah. don't, why? Because we don't need those type of words or vocabulary. Probably we remember the words or yes. we recognize the meaning, but not the definition, right? So it's because we do not really think that we need that information and in fact we don't need the definition right but yes, if I, I ask you what is bribe la última palabra que tuvimos ahora 
I just remember, I remember because. Ah, they por los the ejemplos, team. because of yeah. the examples, right? So, do the same. Hagamos lo mismo. Relacionemos, not definitions, porque las definiciones no funcionan. Definitions are only so you can have an idea and you can express a definition in English. That's it. But okay. try to uh, relate the word with an example that you won't forget. For example, okay. uh, tell, tell me. Uh, I, I will say that, uh, for example, I yeah. have problems yeah. because I feel my vocabulary is so short because okay. I am okay. accustomed okay. to to use the same word for everything, right? Mm -hmm. For example, take a class, uh, talking about with another person, it's always the same, how are you? Everything is fine, something like that, right? Okay. But I, I need to, I think I need to improve my vocabulary, but for me- Like it's more so advanced difficult. vocabulary, huh? Yes, but for me, it's so difficult to remember some words. I know for it's difficult. Do you know what I do? And yeah, I do really do it because yes, it is very easy to express ourselves in a basic or intermediate way. So everybody can understand. But if you yeah. want to get like different type of vocabulary and use it in a conversation, yeah, you tend to forget about it. I don't know if you have heard about this app, Cake. Hay una aplicación que se llama Cake. Yes, yes. I was using what? quiz right now. Oh, really? Yes, because it's about every topic. I am using in English uh -huh. to, to, to knowledge about some topic. Yes. This is I am using right now, but Kate, I know what it is, but I never use it. Okay, what is no no sé por qué no me cargo. But let me see. I really like it because uh, this app is not teaching you vocabulary, but expressions instead, okay? okay? Expressions. Me enseña expresiones, una oración de una sola vez, not like vocabulary, no. So I know how to use the expression, in what context I can use expression. I can have, or I can watch videos and have extra exercises with the same expression. So, mm -hmm. For example, it says, ¿Cómo hacer cumplidos? There is like a specific uh, section for that. Okay. Eh, otro tema, hiciste un gran trabajo. I have so many, many expressions uh, related to that topic. Inglés real se llama, there you go. Y hay como muchas secciones. So I, I would recommend you to use this type of app because you get, uh -huh, you get like a notification so you're going to remember, ah, I need to go and check the platform. But sometimes we do not really have, you know, enough time, but we can make that extra effort, right? Because yes, we, the end, mm -hmm. we spend more time in the network. Uh -huh. Pero sí, a mí me gusta, I really like that one. Okay. And it's very interactive. Uh, what else? ¿Qué más podríamos hacer para sonar más avanzados? Mm -hmm. mm, yes, just to keep on practicing, practice and practice and practice. I guess this class is very nice because you can listen to different type of accents, different type of vocabulary, because as you can see, whenever you, we go in working groups, you can listen to your classmates. Try to listen and to, you know, write down some new information that they may have or some new expressions probably and write them down so after that you can come check your notebook read those expressions and try to use them okay as simple as that tratemos de usarla quiero ver cómo puedo usar en esta clase esta expresión because okay. once you use an expression you are not going to forget about it that easy you know so yeah. I have been listening to your English and no, oh, it's great. I know I get everything that you say or uh, what you're trying to express. Yes, you are in an advanced level now. You sound like an advanced student as well. 
<laughs> yes, it does, because there are some students who are still missing, you know, or who are still in the process of getting mm -hmm. to this level, right? But in your case, what I really like from you is that you are not afraid of participating. You are not. <laughs> no. And that is idea. Force yourself, because in real life, we are not getting that uh, chance of deciding, right? Do I really need to speak? Or if I don't want to interact with native speakers, I want to know. We are forced to do that. That is yes. real life. So do the same in this class. It is going to be a, of a great help in the end, right? Okay. So, and also if you have questions about vocabulary, questions about any other type of topic, you can ask me as well, okay? This is not only the, the, the time, so you can ask me after classes or before classes, if you have questions or if you have material that you, you would really like to share with your classmates, do it as well. Compartamos okay. en el grupo también, ¿so? Okay. Lo estamos haciendo muy bien, Harvey. Créame, lo estamos haciendo bien. Y esas son solo algunas ideas que se me vienen a la mente, pero no, pero la práctica creo que es lo mejor, ¿ok? Sigamos practicando y haciendo un buen trabajo. Ok, okay perfect. Yes, y gracias. No sé si hay otro comment. Any other comments about? No, only that. Not, right? So, yes. thank you so much for staying. And we are going to continue tomorrow, ok? Ok. So, thank you. See you Quite tomorrow. Bye-bye. Take care. Okay.